Going everybody, Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besieged Creations. Starting off strong, we got a flying cup here. Just kidding, this thing's actually called the Stipa Caproni, and it was a 1930s experimental Italian aircraft that actually did take flight, which was kind of shocking to me. I mean, looking at this thing, I don't think many people would expect it to actually work, but here's a shot of it in the sky for uh, just real-world reference. It actually does look very similar to this thing, which is weird. Okay, so let's try and take this thing off and see how it is in Besiege. Now, we can toggle the engines on here, so... Oh, actually, I need to load it in first, so there we go. Now we're loaded in so we can toggle the engines on and holy shit. We're already off the ground. Okay I, I expected this one to not fly too well, but it's looking like <laughs> It's not too bad at all. This thing is great I truly don't understand how something this ugly can fly. You know what? Let's try and do a loop with this thing It feels very slow in responsiveness. So this might be the longest loop ever, but we might actually be able to do one It's actually very very fast as you can see. Oh, are we actually do oh <laughs> Did we just hit the roof? Okay, so we hit the free zone and part of my craft <laughs> is frozen. I'm going down, man. There was no way for me to cut combat that because half of my creation was frozen. Okay, let's try that again from a lower altitude. I must do the loop here. So we're gonna go as low to the ground as possible, or comfortably possible, that is. And we should definitely be able to do the loop without hitting the roof now. There we go. That's how- oh shit. Oh shit, pull up! All right, well, fucking nailed it. And by it, I mean the ground. <laughs> so yeah, this is the so shit. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. <laughs> what the fuck else is going on? I can't drive this thing for shit. As I was saying, this is once again the Stipa Caproni, a very awesome Italian experimental aircraft. I do like experimental aircraft just because they're so weird looking. It's not the same typical plane style. I mean, you got pretty much a flying cup here. All right, but as we always do, let's see if I can land this thing. So I'm going to shut off the engine here. Oh my god, we are going way sideways. Oh, look at this. What the fuck? This thing reacts way differently than any other vehicle. First of all, I was going so damn fast, and then it just slowed all the way down. I wonder if that's because of the cup design. But yeah, we lost a wheel, but honestly, that was one of the most successful landings I think we've had in a while. So, you know what? The Stipa Caproni's a pretty badass aircraft. Alright, well, I wanted to do a little family-friendly skiing in Besiege, but uh, this is not looking like any skiing that I've seen before. <laughs> All right, well, I've gotten to the point where I know how to go straight, which- oh, shit. Well, there's a bomb there. My bad. <laughs> God damn it. I fucking break everything in this game. Okay, well, it doesn't help that I've never actually been skiing in the real life before, but I think I've pretty much got it, so I can control each ski manually. It's very hard. Oh, shit. Hold on to her. Whoa, jeez. This is so cool. The actual animatronics of the human is very, very impressive. There's certain things you can do. I'm still getting the hang of it. The controls are not the easiest, but as you can see, you actually use your body. Oh, shit. I tried to hit space to do jump just because I'm so used to that with so many other games. But you actually use your body to kind of push forward and maneuver yourself. It's really impressive. All right, welcome to the invisible ski lift, ladies and gentlemen. It's fucking grand, because I have no idea how else I'm going to bring this guy up here. So I figured I would just manhandle him a bit. Okay, come on, get over here. Sometimes this is very hard to control, so there we go. We're good. Let's just slowly drop down to the ground. And did I lose one of my ski poles? No, I'm actually good. I made it up here. Okay, so let's get this all straight. There we go. That's looking good. My ski pole is kind of in the middle of my skis, which is fucking me up. You know what? Let me actually grab that for you, because I think I can, so... Let's just, come on, get that out of there. There you go. Now we're good to go. So I have no idea if this is going to go well or not. Oh, shit. Oh, God, don't hurt yourself. No, no, no. Other way, other way, please. Oh, shit. We're going to land on a house. I'm so sorry, peasants. Oh, my God. What the fuck? I'm breaking everything today. All right, try number two. We are back up. I just got to lean this a bit to this way. I actually do get stuck in these things, though. Like, look at I'm totally stuck right now. I think it's because of my skis, or sorry, my poles. So if I lift this... All right, oh, shit, no. I want you to go back. Oh, my God, this is... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, guys. Come on, get back up. Stop, stop fucking around. Oh, well, there goes one of my poles. It got stuck in the ground. It doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Don't need the poles. All I need is my skis, so let's go here. 
All right, we're going down. This is... Oh, this is not going to go well, though. Oh, my God. Every fucking time. All right, we're, we're straight. Holy shit, we're doing it. Okay, just got to keep this going. Oh, yes, we might actually do this. I didn't think it would be possible, but you never know. I just broke my freaking thing. All I got is my skis left. There we go. Oh, my God. Yes, it's actually working, and I'm realizing I'm pretty much weightless. There we go. Look at that perfect landing. That was majestic. And now I roll off into the sunset like a boss, or just hit my head on the stone. That works too. Alright, you ready to get fucking extreme? Cause we're at the tallest mountain in the world of Besiege, and I'm ready to go down this thing. So I have no idea if this is gonna be entertaining or not. He's actually stuck. Okay, good start. You know what? We're just gonna pull up his ski a little bit. There you go. Alright, a little, little, little bit of a jump down. Not too bad. Oh shit. Okay. This is, this is not what I expected. I expected it to be way more extreme than this. Instead, I look like a dipshit going down here. All right, fucking nailed it. Look at this. Fucking yoga people eat your heart out. This is majestic. Okay, can I... Oh, all right. You know what? Let's try one more time here. We're going from the top. All right, now I'm backwards. This is just... All right, just... You know what? Go, go down backwards. That's a little more cool anyways. I can't seem... The, 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 the skis don't seem to fucking work. They seem to grip on the mountain, which was said in the actual game description. It doesn't work on mountains, but I didn't believe it because I'm a dipshit. And clearly, yes, unfortunately, for whatever reason, a skier can't ski on the Besiege Mountains. Regardless, this is still an awesome design. I just wish we could actually ski on the damn mountains here. I feel like, you know, that's kind of the point of this creation. <laughs> they see me hooving. They hate him. <laughs> what the fuck, Fino? Every fucking week, Fino makes the weirdest ass creation. This time we got a supersonic Hoover. Or, uh, I guess vacuum. Or his Hoover? Holy shit! All right, and there goes the... Whoa, what the fuck is going on? You broke my game again. Okay, this thing is a little dangerous to say the least. But is Hoover still a thing anymore? You know what? Let's just say Dyson. This is a Dyson va- No, it's not. It doesn't even look like a Dyson. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. This is a vacuum cleaner, obviously, as you can see. It kind of sucks. <laughs> All right, but yes, another random appliance in Besiege made supersonic. I really don't understand these, but I love them. I can't help myself. When I see something like this, I must download it. So let's go to the outskirts and see if- Oh, God. Wait, okay, this thing doesn't like hills. As I was saying, let's go to the outskirts of the map and try and see how fast this one is. I honestly have no idea how fast it is, but it does have a speed button, so let's try it out. Okay, so here we are. Time for super speed. Oh shit, there goes my wheels. Holy shit, that's too fast. Alright, let's try this again. Better put the flames on for good luck. Here we go. Oh my god, <laughs> it breaks every time. This is way too fast. Why would you make it? It's fast. I guess that's kind of the joke. I mean, vacuum cleaners aren't supposed to be that fast. What the fuck is this? All right, let's see if this vacuum cleaner can clean up a freaking castle. Here we go. Oh my god. You don't realize how fast it is. Where the fuck did I go? I don't know. Um... Yep, now we're in the middle of nowhere. But you don't realize how fast this thing is until you're on one of the maps that we're commonly on. We, we can probably go, yeah, right from there and go right through the castle with no problems. Okay, I want to try one more thing from the side and try and tear down the whole castle. So here we go. Oh my god. I didn't even see the vacuum, just, it, it looked like the castle just randomly combusted in my eyes, that was fucking majestic. Probably the best castle destruction I've seen in Besiege, my god. Alright, and it's been a while since we've seen a bomb thrower, now this one's got a few unique tricks up its sleeve, mostly having to do with cameras, and you know what, we haven't seen one of these since, I would say like, Vanilla Besiege, so it's nice to see one again, adding uh, a few features that uh, the modded creations of the now have. So first of all, we have this front uh, view, which was basically a crosshair with a red dot sight. Doesn't really make sense though, because this is a lobbing device. It's more of a distance thing, uh, but it's also got this other camera. I believe this is where it expects the bombs to land. So you can kind of put this wherever you want. And you know what? Let's try this. So we're going to go back. Now that it's technically aimed up right for the center of the castle, it should hopefully hit it. So let's spin this thing up. All right, that is a, a really dizzy view. So we're going to go down to the wheel here if I can. There we go. We're going to let go a couple bombs or just one bomb. There we go. Direct hit first try. So that definitely does work. Now you can hold this open and shoot all of the one side at the same time, which is pretty cool as well. 
Holy shit! That castle just got destroyed, and we still got four bombs to go, so let's just throw those off. Sometimes they explode in the air when you do it rapidly, but uh, that time we got lucky and threw all the ones without much effort. Aside from that, there's really not much with this creation. Just a really fun creation to throw some bombs everywhere, and we're gonna miss the whole thing, aren't we? Nope, we got a direct hit there. It does do a lot of damage for whatever reason when you lob bombs. Alright, and if you are curious how this thing works, because they are pretty cool to me, it usually has to do with pulleys. I'm sure if we slow it down here, we'll see how this thing works. So let's put it at a stable 7 FPS, or 7%. And you can see these spikes on the side here, and the pulleys in the middle. Basically, these spikes will just go in and actually break those ropes, releasing the bomb, and allowing it to go forward like you're seeing here. It's a really cool and simple design, and I don't know, I, I just like these old Besiege-style designs. So there we go, some bombs exploded on the top. Up, but we also got the castle down as well. <laughs> Every time it's destroyed the whole castle, it really works well. Alright, next up we got this beautiful beast. This is supposed to be a super fast walker that's also pretty good at climbing. Now, it's not really meant to climb, but you can see, I mean, it can take on a mountain pretty damn good. I'm actually amazed it's not really breaking itself just yet. I mean, we did flip it at the end there, but that was a fucking mountain we just climbed with this derpy thing. Alright, well let's try and get this thing to the open ground and see how fast it can move. As you can see, it's a pretty impressive looking machine. You know what? I kind of want to slow it down just to appreciate this mechanism it's got. It's kind of like a walker, but it's also almost like it has wheels that just have legs on them, as you can see. So each, I guess you would call it a wheel, has four different legs that can impact the ground. Now let's go back up to the full speed here so you can appreciate <laughs> fast this thing is. It looks very nervous to me. I don't know why, but I, when it comes to walkers, they always look very nervous to me. Alright, we're gonna try and climb this little space here. I think we might be able to do it. I mean, we are breaking a little bit and we're going down, so I think if you could somehow lean with this thing and if it wasn't so rigid, I think it could definitely be a good rock crawler. Uh, right now, though, it's not the best. You know what? Let's go try and climb the rock crawling mountain I normally do when we're playing around with rock crawlers. So right over here, uh, oh shit, are we gonna fit under there? We just <laughs> fit under there. Uh, but this is the mountain I was normally climbing with rock crawlers, and as you can see, it's still obviously gonna have a very hard time to make up some of these big mountains. But still, it's a really impressive walking design that you don't normally see in Besiege, and it just looks kind of creepy and cute at the same time. Alright, and we always need one weapon of war in these videos. This is called the Omni, and it is a very unique looking piece of machinery. I also really like the paint job he chose for this. A very rustic design. Now, uh, this has some pretty cool wheels on it, as you can see. Wheels down here that are attached to smaller wheels on top of that. And what that actually allows this to do is strafe totally left and right. So you can see I'm going directly sideways right now. I can go the other way as well, and I can also go straight forward forward and backwards. I can also rotate this like an ordinary vehicle if I want to. It really is just an impressive turret with some of the coolest movement mechanisms that I've seen. I'm going uh, diagonally right now and now we're strafing right to left and right again. Now on top of that you can totally control this top turret. You can raise it up and down and you can see that it's got a be decent amount of firepower on this thing. We got a bunch of different cannons. Holy shit I actually hit a house there. And then of course we have some missiles as well if you do want to use those and I do like the the look of these missiles. It looks very realistic. It goes up and then straight downwards as you can see. And that just looks freaking awesome. What an awesome little weapon of war here. And in terms of defenses, it does have one more unique feature up its sleeve. So let's bring these guys over. They seem to be hopping more than they used to. What the fuck is going on? Am I seeing things or did they always hop this much? Anyways, we got some defense cannons here that don't seem to work very well. There we go. Now we're pushing them back. But yeah, guys, this is the very cool Omni. This has just been a great week for unique Besiege creations. Let's see if we can... Oh, yes, of course we can dominate that tower if we want to. I mean, this thing's got so much power in it, and I just love the thing. But yeah, guys, unfortunately, that means we are going to wrap up another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. We had a good week of some weird-ass designs as well as some really impressive designs. As always, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.